of registration of marriage does not render the marriage illegal. A marriage without registration is perfectly legal. Non-registration of marriage does not nullify marriage. If the couple have lived together with intention and purpose and meaning of marriage then they are considered as married couple. Under Section 7 of the Hindu Marriage Act, the provisions for the solemnization of Hindu marriage are provided. A Hindu marriage may be solemnized by performing the customary rites of the parties. It states where such rites include Saptpadi, the taking of seven steps by the bridegroom, and the bride around the sacred fire, then marriage is solemnized when the seventh round is complete. Section 8 provides rules for registration of Hindu marriages. However, the subsection 5 of Section 8 states that the validity of the marriage will not be affected by the failure to register the marriage. Thus, the validity of a Hindu marriage is largely dependent on the Saptapadi ceremony. The marriage is confirmed to be valid if it is performed between Hindu couples according to the customary ceremony and rituals of either party. Moreover, any child born after conducting marriage according to this section will be legitimate. Thus it becomes clear that the validity of a Hindu marriage is not affected by the failure to register the marriage. A religious marriage ceremony is enough for a marriage to be considered valid under this act. Both Muslim and Christian marriage acts also don't make registration of marriage compulsory. However marriages occurring under the Special Marriage Act, 1954 have to be registered in order to be seen as a valid marriage. However registration is crucial for the protection of both parties to a marriage. It provides the union a legal status, and can be helpful when trying to exercise rights associated with marriage. The advantages of getting the marriage registered are 1. The marriage certificate is the most authentic proof of marriage. 2. Registered marriage is legally recognized and in cases of divorce or maintenance or child custody, one doesn't have to prove his or her marriage and the marriage certificate will be enough. 3. Marriage certificate enables widow to claim insurance benefits after the death of the spouse. 4. Helps in applying for passport as well as visa. 5. Helps in opening joint bank accounts. Therefore although registration of marriage is not mandatory and an unregistered marriage is valid, if the same is registered, the parties would get several advantages. An unregistered marriage can be registered at any point of time. Registration of marriage is not at all a complex task. Marriage can be registered online or offline. However, both the husband and the wife must sign an affidavit confirming the location and date of their marriage, their dates of birth, their marital status at the time of marriage, and their nationality. Along with that they have to submit two passport size photographs of both husband and wife, as well as wedding photographs. If one is available, a wedding invitation card must be submitted. A Hindu marriage in India can be registered under either the Hindu Marriage Act of 1955 or the Special Marriage Act of 1954. The Hindu Marriage Act only apply to Hindus, Sikhs, Jains and Buddhists. Whereas the Special Marriage Act covers all Indian citizens, regardless of religion. Like our video, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.